Hello, welcome to another Encouraging Word. I'm Dave, I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and this is a brief word of encouragement from the Bible. This week in church, we talked about serving, and this week in Encouraging Word, we will be talking about that. Um, I know many of us don't like to serve others. We want to be served. We want people to treat us well, and we want to be served. But Jesus said this, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, And their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. This comes from Matthew 20, verses 25 to 28, and it comes in response to a mother of one of of two of the disciples of Jesus who wanted her children, her boys, to have places of authority in the kingdom of God. It was actually the mother of James and John, and she asked that they would have preferential treatment. And Jesus responded in this way, that if you want to be great in the kingdom of God, you've got to become the servant of all. And uh, it sounds so unspiritual what they were asking for. And Jesus has to teach them how things go in the kingdom of God. If you want to be in a position of power and authority in the church, you've got to learn to serve. If you want to be in a, a leader in the kingdom of God, you've got to learn to serve. But then Jesus gives the bombshell to us, at least it is to me. Uh, he says that he himself did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life. And really, that's what service is all about, isn't it? It's giving up of our lives. It's giving up of what we want so that we can give others what they need and what they want. It's sacrificing our desires for the sake of other people. Uh, And immediately following this teaching that Jesus gives, we see that the disciples move on and they are Uh, confronted with two blind men who are shouting and calling for attention. And Jesus asks the question, what do you want me to do for you? And here is really how we learn to serve. We have got to learn to ask the question that Jesus asked. What do you want me to do for you? What can I do for you? You know, churches need to ask their community, what can we do for you? Spouses need to ask one another sincerely, what can I do for you? Christians in churches need to stop demanding that they get things their way and begin asking the question, what can we do for one another in the body of Christ, in the church? Uh, This is what Jesus did, and it literally revolutionized the world. It's truly one of the foundational things of being a follower of Jesus Christ. When we begin with the premise that we are here to serve, not to be served, then our lives will change as well. Uh, What can we do to help, to encourage, to support, to build up? Uh, What can we do to help other people? And uh, that truly is foundational as far as being a follower. When we get those things mixed up, that we are called to serve, not to be served, when we mix those things up, Believe me, all kinds of trouble comes up in our families and in our our churches and our communities. Um, Believe me, over the years, I've I've been um, blessed by the service of many faithful people. People have helped me and supported me and encouraged me. And uh, um, believe me, I, I I am blessed because of it. And I can only pray that as they serve Jesus well by serving others, including me, that I can respond by being that kind of servant to other people. I trust that others will benefit from my service. I trust that you will benefit from the things that we do for you. And I pray that that will be true in in your life as, as I serve you. And I trust that we learn that principle for others as well, that we learn to serve. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so much that you gave your life for us. You sacrificed for us. You came to serve us. And I pray, Father, that you will teach us well the importance of us learning to serve others, to give ourselves 
uh, for other people, to serve other people in, in various ways and capacities. So I pray your blessing upon your people today. Thank you for those faithful servants of God who've served so well in the past and continue to do so. And I pray, oh God, you'll help us just to be faithful. Help us to be good servants of you and good servants of others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great day.